I am Jacqueline Umoff, also known as Action Jacqueline, and today we are going to do the splits. I'm going to show you some of my favorite stretches to learn how to get towards doing the splits. Maybe this is your very first time, or maybe you're still new to the splits. Just remember that it is a journey and it doesn't happen overnight, so please do not get frustrated and just stick with it. I am here in the beautiful Beverly Hills, California at the Aloe Yoga flagship store. Make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel because we have so many amazing yoga tutorials for you. All right, get out your mat and let's get started. Welcome to your splits video. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite stretches that you can do to work your way up to the splits. And just remember that the first time that you attempt the splits, may not be the time that you actually get it. Or if you're in class and you see someone else doing it, they may have been doing the splits their entire life. So try not to ever compare yourself to anybody else when you're trying to do the splits. So I'm gonna just start, you may wanna have some blocks handy because it will help you um, when we get into the splits to assist you in the pose. So we're gonna just start seated. <clears throat> so we're gonna start really simple. I want you to bring your right foot out and you're gonna tuck your left foot underneath you. So what this is doing is it's stretching the hip, the left hip and then the front of the thigh. I want you to really think about getting those hips really square. So you're just going to kind of settle into the hips and if this is enough for you to just be right here, then I suggest that you just stay here and you breathe for a couple minutes right here, letting the internal rotation of the hip kind of do its thing and loose up, loosen up there. So if you want a little bit more, then I would say that you can take yourself forward here. And it is pretty intense to go into this forward fold. If, that, if you can just kind of crawl your way forward, that's okay too. So you just would prop yourself up here on your hands. If you want a little bit more, then you can just keep wrapping your hands around that right foot. And then eventually you would release the head down to the floor or down to your knee. So when you're here, I actually feel this stretch really actually on the outside of my right leg. And so it is really intense. So when I'm stretching for the splits, I do like to hold each stretch for about a couple of minutes. So I like to have the foot flex here too, because then we get the extra stretch on the bottom of the foot and in the calf. Try not to just be round here and tense up in your shoulders. You don't want to ever force it or keep it rounded here. Make sure that the shoulders are relaxed. And then from there you move into a little bit of a rounded position, but it's really just that my head is dipping down. It's not that my shoulders are hiking up to um, my ears. So then you'll want to do that also on the other side. Okay, and then the next stretch I'm going to show you is going to be in a low lunge. So the low lunge is a really, really great place to find the alignment of the hips when you're in the splits. So a lot of times people may do the low lunge and kind of splay it open, right? Your knee opens up and your foot turns in or turns out. You want to make sure that you're not doing that, that you're actually drawing the right hip down and back and the left hip is going forward. So it's like two opposition of em energy. So the right hip's going back and the left hip is going forward. I'm on the top of my, of my foot. So I, again, I'm not opening it up and letting it splay out. I'm right on the top of my foot, like where your shoelaces would be. And I'm on the top of my left knee. <clears throat> So you would hold here for a couple of minutes. You want to relax the shoulders. If you need the blocks, then you can definitely just assist yourself here. You just go up to whatever level you need, but just make sure that you're constantly drawing this right hip back, right? You're not letting it open and splay out. You're drawing the, the hip in. You're drawing the thigh bone down into the hip. And then eventually you can work your way down the blocks and then work your way all the way down onto the floor. All right, and then the next one I'm going to show you <clears throat> is a half split. So I love doing the half split. I think it actually stretches the, the back of the legs so deeply, and it, it looks like it's very easy, but it actually is a very deep stretch. 
And again, you wanna make sure that your hips are square. So you're not splaying open this way. You're making sure that the hips are square. You're still drawing the thigh bone back into the hip socket. So you're not opening it out forward. So you can use the blocks here. You can stay a little bit higher up if you need to, all the way up here. And then eventually you can work your way down the blocks and then eventually all the way down to the floor. What I like to do is I like to flex the foot again, just like in the other pose so that you can stretch underneath the foot, um, which is also really good for things like plantar fasciitis and things like that. And it also stretches out the calf. So I like to try to get my forehead to my knee by pulling my core in and relaxing my shoulders so that I can get into my low back and my outer hip. And then you could always intensify it by adding a twist so you could place the hand on the outside and then reach up but just work your way up that way. So then the next one I'm gonna show you before we get into the splits is kind of still in the half split, in between half split and low lunge, but you wanna make 90 degree angles with both of your knees, and then you're gonna lower your elbows down to the floor. So make sure that you're not splaying the hip out, the knee out, you're hugging the knee in towards your shoulder, and make sure you're not pushing your butt out. So you, again, you wanna draw the hip back. If that's too much for you, you could always take a block and then rest your elbows on the block here like this instead. Make sure that you're hugging the knee in towards the shoulder. You're drawing the, the thigh bone down and back and your core is still engaged. All right, so now let's go ahead and try the splits now that you've tried those uh, uh, stretches. So place a block right underneath where you're going to land your right thigh and then you're just going to slowly move your way forward. So I just want you to stop wherever you're at or wherever just feels like a good place for you. Don't feel like you have to go too far. So you want to just gently rest your body down on the block here. So you're nice and supported, right? And we just did those stretches to help draw this thigh bone back and this hip back. So you can hold here and this is a really great way to just ease your way down into the splits. Again, I like to keep my foot flexed back and then I like to keep the other, the ball of the foot there. It helps to support the hips a little bit more. And then to get out of it, you just gently bring the foot up and the knee back in. And there you go. Those are my favorite stretches to do that really, really help to increase the hips and the thighs and the hamstrings in order to get the splits. So I hope you enjoyed that and I wish you luck in your splits journey and check out all of the other Allo Yoga YouTube videos and continue your yoga practice with us. All right, see you next time.